TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? Warning. Don't forget, man, we also got uh, Twitch.com, man. Username is at the bottom of the screen, and we also do Patreon five days a week, man. Um, this is UK Riots by Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan. You know what's shocking to me? No, let's, let's do the copyright. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. You know what's shocking to me? This is the first time that I have literally opened YouTube and I've seen a video. And it has the Muslim community talking. Like live at the UK riots or any any platform. I'm 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 I, I want to hear. This is the first time, first time I've heard this. Look here, yeah. three girls were killed by that kid in Southport. It's an act of R.I.P. to those three young women, whose lives were cut short before they can even fathom a. a any future violence that shattered the peace Crazy. of the summer holidays in a seaside town three girls were killed bb king elsie dot stankham and elise agir however 186,000 palestinians have been killed most of them are children do you see us burning every synagogue that supports the israeli regime another fire another night of chaos anti-immigration rioters attack a hotel in rotherham do you see us holding innocent people responsible. Crowds clashing with police outside a hotel where immigrants are being housed. Yeah, you don't. We're coming in peace. And imagine our anger. Imagine how we feel every day in Chechnya, in Syria, Iraq, Palestine, Kashmir, Mali, Libya, everywhere. We see our children killed. We don't behave in a manner that you see these hooligans behaving in because they don't care for their girls. They're here for violence. And they're here because they hate us. Oh, yeah. A black Christian man born in Wales killed them girls. Axel Rudakabana is 17, British, born in Wales and of Rwandan heritage. But who are they directing their anger at? They're directing it at Muslims only. Why? Why? Because their agenda is anti Islam, straight up. This is our fucking country, not fucking theirs. And I'm not going to lie, that's what it seems like. It started off as. as, as a lot of issues that needed to be handled. A lot of issues were going on. Then that happened. R.I.P. to those three young women. And then it comes to the forefront that it wasn't who was getting blamed. And it still didn't fix anything. It's, 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 a, it's just a lot of hate being perpetuated right now. And I'm not going to lie. Buddy was up there speaking facts. But at the same time, we're still not going to take away from the three little girls that lost their lives. I understand what's going on, but let's not take away from that. Uh, like, But I still hear him. I'm here to save the kids. The children have been murdered. There's been a massacre on the street. They got the target and little white girls all over the country. Let's call a spade a fucking spade. It's like Russian roulette at this point. Which one's going to be next? No one questioned why BLM were out. No one questions why Palestine are out. You're crazy. Yes, they did. <laughs> they always question BLM. I question them sometimes. So it's... We're saving the kids, we're stopping the boats, we're closing the borders. Look how mad we've all gone. This is real women, this is lionesses, this is the lion roar, and I'm not racist and I don't give a fuck what you say. Then who the fuck is, who the fuck's, who, like, who's trying the to kill policies, our kids? Policies that politicians put in place, yeah? Stop the boats! Stop, stop the boats! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! They're calling us far right. We're not far right, we're all fathers and parents of children. These immigrants are coming in without paperwork, we're lying about their ages, we don't know nothing about the, 
the background, and that's what it's about. We don't want to be solid. Solid. His reasoning is solid and sound. Lying about their ages, we don't know nothing about the, the background, and that's what it's about. We don't want to be branded far right. You know, we're here for the right reasons. I want my kids to know I didn't stay silent. Leave our kids alone. It's about children that have lost their lives in this city, and we're passionate about that up here. We're not racist, we've got more. I heard the, young, the, the, the lady who first put up the post on who did what to the, to the three girls. I heard she's been arrested for spreading false uh, claims. Muslim friends. Our country has benefited from migration. However, it's just getting overwhelming. We're a very small island. It's become a security risk. Religion means fuck all, lads. I'm not asked. This is about people coming in. They could be Christians from Somalia or wherever. And the fucking wrong ones. That's what it is. We're letting wrong ones in. This is not religious. That's bollocks. Fucking bollocks. This is about the wrong ones, the letting in. You can be a Christian, you can be whatever. You're coming in, you've got no intention of fucking helping the country. You're here to cause trouble. You're here to take and thieve and steal. You're here to stay for nothing. So, unfortunately, that's a no-no. There's 50,000 people here on, on an MI6 list, isn't there? Start with them, get rid of them, get rid of the people who are killing kids, raping kids, get rid of them. Stop the boats. Kick them out. I feel like this guy's listened to too many, too many, make, maybe, I don't think he has his own opinion or he's done his own research. He's outside of the basis of somebody else, somebody, something of what somebody else said. Get Possibly. rid of the people who are killing kids, raping kids, get rid of them. Stop the boats, kick them out. There's too many of you here. You just don't respect our country, you don't respect our religion. All you think about is Aisha, because she was nine years old. That's what you are all into, paedophilia. Listen, this is a message for George Soros, yeah? Britain will never fall. We don't care how many globalists, yeah? George Soros, yeah? You globalist scumbags, yeah? Import as many of them as you want, yeah? Guess what? Christ will prevail, yeah? This world is so corrupt. Labour's supposed to love the North West, supposed to be for the working class. They've stabbed the real people who has got real concerns. They've stabbed a lot of us in the back. And we supposed to stand here and let everybody call us right wing and Nazis. I feel like there is people out here with real concerns, but it's being overclouded by some of these people who are just real, real extreme and and forgetting the message that needs to be, or is making the message cloudy. I've got Asians in my family. I ain't racist one bit. What I am is scared of this government. We've now got two tier Kia coming on the news and having the audacity to call the general public far right. I utterly condemn the far right thuggery we've seen this weekend. I've seen all this. Yeah, he is that guy. Coming. No one wanted it. We've tried to warn about it, and I'm still going to try and warn about it. I don't want to fight anybody. We don't want wars with Muslims. I don't think it's a good idea attacking mosques at all. I'm not a conservative either. I'm not an anarchist. I want a decent party that cares about the people. Anybody who's a law-abiding citizen who is going by the rules of wherever they are located at and just want to be peaceful should be left alone. When you get to target innocent people on either side of the either side is is wrong. When people get hurt that shouldn't be getting hurt, when there's violence that is just nonsense, when there's debauchery, when there's windows being broken everywhere, it's just you know. Well, that's all we want. Every person doesn't matter where you're from. Okay, so if Tories weren't the answer, Labour wasn't the answer. Who is? I, I, I'm not a politician, and I'm thick as pig shit. But I can talk to people. I've never been to school. I can only write my own name. But I've got an art as big as. <laughs> Stop, I'm sorry. No, continue, because you're right. Talk to him. Shit, but I can talk to people. I've never been to school, I can only write my own name, but I've got an heart as big as a lion, and I'll stand there against anybody for the sake of our country. People need to wake up against Labour. These are the rats. We're not racist, we're scared. Everybody out there is not acting, and it's not on this street now. Get out there and act. Don't call yourself a man unless you're out here. Don't call yourself a man. Simple as that. You don't and I believe he's talking about peacefully protesting. Fight for your country. You don't push back the invaders. You're not a man. Enlist for war. If we don't fight now, it's, it's going to come to our kids having to fight and they're not going to win it. They're not going to win the, the fight. So I don't want the violence. We've got to try and do it peacefully. But this has to be the final straw where the, the, there's a clear message sent to those in charge that 
you either step up or you step aside now. I was in Southport on Tuesday. Police tried to keep apart a group of far-right protesters and a much larger anti-fascist counter-protest. The media absolutely, Ooh, absolutely yeah. corrupt. They lied. There wasn't a single member of the EDL there. They weren't a member of the far right there. There was little girls, older women. There was older men. There was young men, middle-aged men, outraged at what the government's allowing to happen to us. What the government's allowing this cancer to do to us, this cancer that's grown within our nation. We need to stop it. My children were abused by social services. A Merseyside police have covered it up. They've got a hidden grooming gang that won't be released to the public. Defund the BBC. My children were abused by social services. I'm Where were you though? That is unfortunate to hear. But where where were you in all of that? Why were they with social services? Merseyside police have covered it up. They've got a hidden grooming gang that won't be released to the public. Defund the BBC. The media are the lies. The media is the virus. Much like at protests in the United States. I, I, I understand with the, BB, the media though. A line of riot police who sustained minor injuries throughout the course of the day had formed a sort of demilitarized zone between nationalist stop the boats protesters and an equally sized counter protest of mostly left leaning Liverpool locals who showed up in person to confront a mob of who they believed to be far right racist protesters. Shout out Liverpool man, you'll never walk alone. They're all in Brad. Yeah. They need a dentist. They're not in. <laughs> Because it's funny because seven people been on here that needed dentistry. All right. Good all right, game. racist protesters. They're all in, Brad. Yeah, they need a dentist. They're not interested in those children that were killed in Southport. They just want to cause a fight. We're a multicultural city, a city. Very much so, Liverpool. Right. Of century, and I hope they get lost. What do you think the solution is? Throw them all into the sea. That's what the ch This is what I'm talking about. And then I bet you this guy, if you find him, like if he if he like gets his own interview after this and they bring up this comment, he'll say he's not racist. Chance says. Solution is yeah. well to get rid of capitalism and have a social society, and then these people would be catered for and not blaming it on fucking immigrants and refugees and what have you. They've obviously got issues because they've been let down, no dentists, no doctors, no housing. Right, but that's not, that's not immigrants or, or, or refugees' fault. That's the fault of this fucking government. Despite this frontline tension, it appeared that the vast majority of counter-protesters weren't actually interested in having a direct confrontation with English nationalists and instead had organized their own rally at nearby St. George's Hall in support of migrants and refugees. Refugees are here. Oh, someone's just got married. Oh. <laughs> see, this is Liverpool, and the far right is trying to threaten that. Wait, a quick... Yeah, see, W Liverpool. Explanation, what happened in Southport? Obviously, I mean, there was a horrible attack in which three children lost their lives. What happened? R.I.P. to those three children. And since then was... And all the others injured, speedy recovery. It's a, a massive lie about the identity of that attacker, which was, you know, led by the likes of Tommy Robinson. After murdering and raping and pillaging 1,400 Jews, look how confident they've become across the entire West. Of Lawrence Fox, of other far-right people online. So an undocumented migrant decided to go into a Taylor Swift dance class today and stab six little girls. Also the likes of Nigel Farage is complicit. We will only stop this if we start deporting people that come illegally. This led people in Southport, um, you know, racists and far-right people to feel emboldened to come out on the street and to an attack a mosque that had no connection to the identity of the attacker. I think it's also important... Yeah, that's wild. I'm a right bold Christian, but that is wild. What they did... To say that even if the attacker was a Muslim, was a Muslim or a migrant or the things that they were lying about, it still does not license 
the far right attacks on communities we've seen around Britain. Um, so people around the country today are actually protesting. I think, you know, people here feel a part of something bigger. In Manchester, they got pushed back this morning. In Liverpool, we pushed them back outside the mosque last night. People who are here today are proud to stand in a multicultural Britain and, you know, the far right's trying to threaten that. I don't think there is anything special about what's happening in the UK. I, I, I think it's a reflection of what's happening internationally yeah. in that you've got a crisis of capitalism, living standards for, you know, in society going downhill, just a general crisis of the system. Far right groups, obviously what they do is they latch on to the, the deep anger that exists. They build in the most impoverished areas of the country and they basically try and divert that anger away from class struggle against the bosses and against, uh, well, first the Tories and now Labour. And they, they rile a lot of very young people up, young men up with very toxic ideas and they send them out to go and attack migrant communities, you know? That's a real threat we have to take seriously. And if the left doesn't have a convincing alternative that's based around mass struggle, that's based around fighting back in that kind of way, the far right seeps in, you've seen it in France. I, th I think the end game of uh, these far right groups is obviously to just create a society where there's mass expulsions uh, of, of, of migrant workers. I mean, we need to tell those people the alternative march. We need to get truth through to them. And that's important. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all right, Steve. We're suffering the rages of capitalism. We're suffering the rages of, well, you know, if Tony Blair didn't go and cause a fucking war in Iraq or at least support that fucking war, if we weren't selling bombs to everyone across the planet, those people wouldn't be being bombed out their homes and having their land just stolen from them because of oil, because of agriculture, because of water and everything else. They'd be happily sitting in their homes, most of them, and they wouldn't be running to anywhere they can possibly get to save their children being blown to fucking smithereens. That's why, and I don't get it why people don't get that. If you have a problem with immigration, I'd have respect for you if you went out on marches and told the government enough is fucking enough. No more bombing or creating wars in other places. And if we are this powerful, powerful country, and you are genuinely these powerful, powerful politicians, take on these other fuckers across the planet and negotiate with them and create peace. It's not going to be easy, but you can at least fucking try. <sighs> Easier said than done. It's probably a lot of... Probably a lot of backdoor, a lot of... Hidden agendas, a lot of stuff you gotta go We need through. to tackle all these problems. We need to transform society to a socialist one and create like a society where wealth is shared more equally amongst um, the people that create it, which is the majority of the working class people, you know, the capitalists who own everything. They pit us all against each other along the lines of like race, being um, LGBT, men and women, you know what I mean? Like we're all divided. So we're coming together. But more importantly, a sharing of like all of the wealth in the world will kind of do away with that sort of racism. And, um, and it's not an easy task, but yeah, that's why we're here. Like, yeah, people are obviously angry and they're all out together. So we want to like reach those people. You know, it's a hard back. I'm not gonna lie. Andrew and got all sides of the fight, all sides of the conversation to speak. Oh. You know, I know it's kind of like a um, big task and I, I, I know it's not easy, but I think like, you know, like when we fight together, we can we can achieve like real, real change. Yeah, cool. You know, we need to build a, a new party that will like fight to defend the interests of working class people. Um, you know, the fact that our NHS is in such a bad state rather than blaming that on migrants. Let's enter into struggle to fight back against the private companies that are making huge profits. You know, I think the real answer is is, is class struggle, you know uniting as a working class to fight for all of our interests. Whether you're a migrant worker, British born, you know, it's about building that working class solidarity. I believe in living in a kingdom that's good and true. Shortly after the Stop the Boats protest and counter protest both dispersed, threats were reported to have been made online by members of the right wing English Defense League targeting a nearby mosque, prompting a standing army of Arab teenagers to assemble with the purpose of standing on business in the event of catastrophe. Well, not all teenagers, but. What, like, what response was. You know what I'm saying? Like. Warranted response but mostly teenagers. In front of the mosque is where guest reporter Sanjay- Not to, not to cause trouble, but just to protect. 
spoke to those youths at the beginning of the video. But there were also many other older community members who showed up to express support and solidarity. We cannot translate racism in this country. We are totally against EDL in their principles, in their foundations. They don't want any Muslims to be in this country. This country needs us. There's no what these people being able to be The police yo, 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 yo. Relax. Relax. It makes me feel angry. I get, I get frustrated. Yes. But because I am Muslim, I have to be calm about this. You know, I have to be calm. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. <laughs> yeah, man. The soldiers, the lines of Allah are all out today. Bring the EDL out. We've come to stand up against these uh, EDL fascists that have come to our town and that are telling us that how their town's meant to be run when most of them are junkies, smackheads, crackheads, and they're not contributing to this community or this society. How are the government letting people like this come here and cause a disturbance? We've got to stand up to them. We've got to show them that we're not scared of them. We ain't backing down from no one. It's fucking the low scum. And then you've got officers like this here swearing at us, calling us fucking fannies and this and that, where he thinks he's bad with a bat in his hand. Put everything I believe you. I believe you 100% that that officer did that. Bring down man to man. Jeez. Arrest me after that, no Without problem. Our minorities are looking after the country and this is how we get treated. We don't get, they deserve to get treated like fucking shit. Yo, we're fucking equal to everyone over here. Why do you think race matters to them? I don't know. They've got nothing better to do. They've no logic. They're brainwashed. That's what it is. They're brainwashed. They don't know what's going on. They've got one leader called Tommy Robinson that they all go off. While all these idiots have been uh, rioting, they don't know Tommy Robinson has fled the country. So you're all out for the cause here and the leader isn't even in the country. He can't live in his own country that he loves so much. So, so is violence the answer? Violence isn't the answer. Love's the answer. Is not the Love is always the answer. Violence will only beget violence. You know what I'm saying? Eye for an eye, that's the energy that's being given off. That's why violence can never be, it'll never solve anything. Love though, facts. The answer, but our religion tells us to stand up against kuffars that are not merciful, that are zalims, that are kuffars, and that's why we've come here together to stand together. There's people like Jews that stand with us. There's Christianities that stand with us. There's Hindus that stand with us. Pan the camera, you can see thousands of us are here. We are protecting the mosques that ha happen in Stoke, in Sunderland, in Liverpool, in many other towns. But we're standing as one because we want what's right. We want peace. We are fighting for what's right. Stay united, come together, protect your mosque, protect your families. If they are coming down to hunt you, to, to kill you, to, to, to trouble you, please do a self-defense. Defend yourself and defend your ideology and restrict them in your cities, in your towns. If you don't do that one, they will come to your house and they will chase you. Stand for something or fall for anything. Channel 5 Live Worldwide, Hollywood and Vine. Fuck the authority, Channel 5 News. Channel 55, we don't fuck with Custers. And 5 is. That's it. All right, my bad. Well, like I said, that's the first time I've ever heard the, um, the Muslim side speak in length. Interesting.